everybody, this is uh, Jim at sp500chart.com, where we use time-honored techniques to understand modern markets, featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 index. I uh, just want to remind you, and it's a set, set a little differently here, but uh, sp500chart.com and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and uh, from your own research to make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, we're going to take a look uh, to start with at the five-minute chart for the uh, S&P 500. And in yesterday's video, I had drawn these blue lines that I said, you know, it looks like the S&P is in a downward channel. Um, and the fact that it also broke this uh, rising support line right here, and this is not a major line, okay? But it is still a line that had one, two, three points of contact when it broke it came up for a back test that looked like it might get over it, but it, it pretty quickly got uh, thrown back down. We bounced yesterday, and, and then it rallied back up to up to this top line at the close. Now, I'm going to uh, share with you what some of the thought processes that go through my mind when I look at this. And the first thing is, when you see a little channel like this that's lasted for, what, a little bit more than two days, um, it, it's it's really hard to be honest with you to say well that's a that's a major thing here in development because it's not a major thing it's a minor thing, and and this top line is going to break I I can't tell you when and when it closed here I was thinking gosh you know do I do I, I, I my my intellect says you're short here. But, uh, you know, my emotions say, yeah, but that was a big old bounce off that bottom line. And it came off this uh, kind of this neckline from this little pattern back here. Boy, I better be careful. I really, boy, I don't know about that. So I didn't do anything. And uh, lo and behold, um, that line did continue to work all day long. So the line is good. The line is valid. At some point, it will break. Uh, but obviously, until it breaks, the market keeps going down. I mean, that kind of goes without saying. But uh, what did happen was this line right here that put up a fight one, two, three times today uh, finally gave way at the end of the day. So if we just look at the chart, we're looking at uh, what appears to be probably some more weakness on the way early next week. Um, again, uh, th this market has been squirrely and all over the map, as you can see here. And the fact that, um, let me get a little bit better view here. Uh, the fact that we're trading down below this red line uh, also, I think, may be significant. But I, again, like I mentioned yesterday, I, I don't know how critically important this red line is. Uh, because we have a number of places we could draw it that are roughly where it is. So when you get down it uh, uh, down below it by just a little bit, uh, it may not be that big a deal. Now there's another thing I want to show you, and that is uh, originally I had uh, been uh, kind of on my soapbox saying that this looked like a head and shoulders consolidation that would lead to more downside. Uh, but then all of a sudden, we got up over what appeared to be the neckline. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm reconsidering this pattern right now. Uh, and one of the reasons I'm reconsidering it is one of the uh, posters at, uh, at our forum uh, at, at uh, sp500chart.com had mentioned that it looked like this whole thing had kind of like the shape of it was rounding. Instead of a rounding bottom, it looked like it was a rounding well, you can't say it's a top because it, it's not happening at a top, but it's got that shape to it. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a football. And uh, and lo and behold, today it stayed within that. So so let's see if this, is, if this uh, breaks down. Um, but what I was going to say is uh, forget this line for just a second. Let's go to this line right here at 1120. 
All right, look at how strong that line has served. Even though it broke down a little bit right here, that was very momentary. 1120 has been pretty good support a number of times. Let me and let me share something with you. Sometimes uh, head and shoulders can take on a complex shape. So right now. Uh, I'm keep still keeping my eye on this whole thing right here as acting like a head and shoulders pattern. Uh, this would be now the neckline uh, if what what I'm getting ready to tell you is is true, and that is maybe this is a left shoulder and a double head, and then a right shoulder, and that does happen. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of times you'll get a double shoulder, a double head, and then another double shoulder. But uh, what I'm saying is, is that it, 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 there's still uh, some potential symmetry going on here. Left shoulder, double head, beginning of the right shoulder. And the neckline would be at 1120. So that, that to me, that 1120 level is critical. If that busts, then uh, let's measure it and see where this uh, where this guy says it's going to go. By measuring the top now, I'm going to go with this uh, red line right here that's drawn across these two tops down to the uh, 1120 line. And if we snap that here, and if that breaks, then it does. It says that there should be a move to about 1,020. Now, what's kind of interesting? about that is that I have felt all along why did I get rid of that nice oval well anyway I have felt all along that when this pattern well let me back up if this pattern breaks down that uh, when when we were using this as the neckline the target was about a thousand fifty but I kept thinking all along but I think it's gonna go to a thousand twenty because again this is all predicated upon this pattern breaking down because that 1020 is the extended neckline from this large inverse head and shoulders uh, back from late 2008 that formed and finally broke out in the uh, summer of 2009. So there, that is uh, what I see going on in the S&P right now. And uh, if this uh, 1120 breaks on conviction and we get a little pullback, I say go for it. That that is uh, that is a a, a good uh, a good low risk uh, place uh, to go short in this market. Let's take a look at a few other things because after all, this is the uh, the weekend update. And and by the way, uh, this uh, the way the the website is going to work is everybody sees the weekend video. Everybody sees the video that I do after the close on Friday. I'll either do it after the close on Friday or on Saturday or Sunday. It, re it really depends upon my schedule with family and business. But uh, so th this is the weekend update, and, and that means we're going to look at a few other things too, not just the S&P. Here we see the uh, Russell 2000, and you can see that it is kind of in that same shape. Uh, and it's very easy to see here because I don't have all those other lines drawn. So you can really see that uh, that this line right here is critical support. And if it breaks, uh, what's the term? Katie bar the door or bar the doors. Uh, I, th I think it's going to get ugly. Uh, let's move on. Dow Jones uh, transport transportation average, same thing. Really got the same thing going on here. Uh, so, the, of course, this line is a little bit more downsloping uh, than the S&P, uh, and I believe a little bit more downsloping uh, than the Russell. So, uh, again, critical support uh, could be coming up on this uh, pretty soon. The uh, uh, Dow Jones Industrials, kind of the same picture. Uh, you see left shoulder, what looks like maybe a double head, and then what appears to be the turning down of a of a right shoulder. Now I want to remind you that with all of these things that we're looking at, they're not confirmed until this neckline breaks. So right now it is it is still kind of conjecture, but you can you can see clearly that uh, that this has a rounding shape and that it also has a shape that is similar to a uh, 
to that double-headed uh, head and shoulders formation, which, by the way, head and shoulders formations uh, patterns can form as uh, continuation patterns. I don't think they're quite as common as triangles uh, or wedges uh, or, or flags, but uh, they, they can and do that and will do that. And now we're looking at the uh, NASDAQ. And what's kind of interesting here is it's a different pattern. If you look at uh, the top here, again, we get that we get a pretty nice head and shoulders top. Um, the, the right shoulder almost got up to the head level. But once that broke down, what looks like it's happening in the, in the NASDAQ is a uh, full back test of this uh, neckline uh, through a rising wedge. Um, which broke down, then it came back for a, for a gap fill inside the pattern, and then for the past three days uh, has been str has been down strongly. So look, that's the uh, that's the market update, and I just want to remind you the uh, again the way the uh, the subscription service works is really very simple. If you subscribe, then when I do a video and get it posted, uh, you see it. It will be, uh, you'll have to go to sp500chart.com and log in, and the video will be there. And I will keep a five-day uh, running of, of, of those videos. In other words, the members uh, S&P 500 chart section will have the last five videos available. Um, then what will happen is if you're not a member, then you will still get to see these videos, but it will be on a delayed basis. Uh, Monday and Tuesday videos will be released for everybody on Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday videos will be released for everybody on Friday. And then there will be a, a weekend uh, update, which is what you're looking at right now. That will be released to everybody. And uh, when, I, when I get fully in the swing of things, that weekend video will also be an honest and frank look at, uh, at how the charts panned out according to these old school technical analysis methods. So uh, it could be good or it could be bad, guys. You know, uh, things don't always work. But uh, by golly, uh, I think once we get through all, this, uh, through all this mess that we've been in for the past uh, couple of months, uh, I think we're going to start seeing some some interesting things that uh, that you'll want to take advantage of. So uh, please come visit us at uh, sp500chart.com and uh, consider subscribing today for those daily market updates. And there's the information I just told you. Monday through Thursday videos you will get within a few hours after the close as soon as I get the video made. So uh, take care. By the way, it's it's pretty affordable. It's uh, it's going to be less than uh, what a McDonald's cup of coffee. Can I say that? I hope I don't get sued. It'll be less than what a fast food restaurant cup of coffee costs uh, every day. So look, take care. Thanks again.